Hey, what's up guys? Trace here going over Friday's class. All right, today, today, we have that nice long pacing test, 18 minutes on the clock there, and then this part B, this bodybuilding finisher, all right? We're gonna give ourselves about 15 minutes just to just be safe there, but realistically, it's just a pump session. Partner up, have fun with it, go back and forth, it'll be a good time. Like I said, the meat and potatoes today is going to be that part A, this pacing test, all right? If you've been here at Coda for a bit, this will look very familiar. We just have not done this test in, in a bit. All right. So, for that warm up, all right, getting warm for it. I personally am a big fan of, you know, those kind of longer flow sessions, eight to 10 minutes, kind of moving back and forth down the floor, get just a little bit of a sweat going, make sure we're really stretching out those end ranks of motion. All right. Then, I'll kind of bring everyone together. I'd love to talk about, because this is a big test, Let's take it seriously, all right? So let's make sure we have our, make sure everyone has their phone in one spot for the entire workout so that we make sure we hit those lap times consistently. And then once we've kind of gone over that, you know, taking it seriously, that's where we'll kind of figure out what these variations will be, what these scales will be for each athlete, for each member. But I'll scale it down to, we'll just do, let's say something like 10, uh, 10 double unders, five wall wall shots, five toes of bar. That way they can kind of go through two to three rounds, figure out the flow of how they need to break these reps up, how they need to, or where they need to set their phone to have a consistent lap time every single round. Because with this pacing workout, we need to keep track of every individual round. All right. Now, I touched on it briefly, but with all these movements, we want to make sure all of our members, all of our athletes are taking or are going with variation that they'll be able to stay with consistently all right so that means if someone's able to do 50 double unders for that as their all-time max and then after that goes to sets of 10 you may need to have them reel that number back in a little bit all right but not only are we shooting for ideally unbroken but how would you break this up all right 10 and 10 on those wall shots may work for some but some people may need to go with 12 and 8, 13, 7, something along those lines. But make sure all of your men, all of your, or everybody in your class has a plan for when and how they're going to break this up so they can stay consistent every single one of these five rounds. All right? Good luck, guys. Have fun.